So good afternoon again, and thank you for joining us. My name is Michael Waterson, and I serve as the Executive Director of the Campaign for High School Equity. And uh, on behalf of the members of the Campaign for High School Equity, I want to welcome all of you to our discussion this afternoon, and thank you again for, uh, for joining us. I think this is a critically important dialogue that we're going to engage in this, this afternoon, and so I am particularly grateful that all of you have chosen to respond to our invitation and to spend your afternoon uh, with us. I'd like to also just take a moment to acknowledge and uh, introduce to all of you here a few members of the Campaign for High School Equity. We are a coalition of nine major civil rights organizations, each of which has a fairly long and storied history in advocating for greater civil rights, for education reform, and quite frankly for human rights. Uh, in our nation. We, namely, we are the NAACP, we are the National Urban League, we are the Southeast Asia Resource Action Center, the National Council of Araza, the League of United Latin American Citizens, National Indian Education Association, and I know I am blanking on one or two organizations, the Alliance for Excellent Education, and the Asia Conference on Civil Rights Education Fund. Uh, was that quite in line? I think so. And of course, and of course, our wonderful, wonderful host, uh, the member of our coalition that was particularly instrumental in helping us to organize this session and helping us to be a part of the CSBA conference, Naleo. And actually, uh, if you all would, uh, representing Naleo in the back, if you would just kind of stand, Valerie Cuevas, uh, Sam Robles, and uh, Dr. Joe Bishop. Thank you all. <laughs> Representing the Southeast Asia Resource Action Center is Ms. Sumeri Mungrasami. Back there. <laughs> Representing the National Indian Education Association is uh, Carrie Venegas. <laughs> With the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights is Ms. Erica Swanson. I think I saw Erica earlier, but she will be back. Yes, she must have stepped out. Earlier, my Ms. Hop, and representative of United Latin American Citizens, Ms. Iris Chavez. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce you to the Deputy Director for the Campaign uh, for High School Equity, Ms. Paula Mazuleta, who is right there in the back. Just wave for the moment. Now, I don't need to tell any of you how important uh, the issue is that we're going to talk about uh, today, but I thought it was equally important, perhaps more important, if we took so just a moment at the outset of our dialogue uh, to hear from someone who perhaps on a day-to-day -day basis uh, has an incredible amount of responsibility for trying to, in fact, ensure that uh, the young people that we are also desperately concerned about, and all children, uh, in fact, receive the highest quality education that California can provide. And I'm talking about the superintendent of your Department of Public Instruction, Mr. Jack O'Connell. Uh, superintendent O'Connell really needs no introduction because you are the hometown crowd. But I will, I will say just a couple of things um, about him. One, here at, we at the Campaign for High School Equity were, were very pleased that um, he consented and agreed to our invitation to be here uh, with us. And what little I know about the superintendent, what little I know about uh, the movement of education reform uh, as it has progressed in the state of California, uh, I happen to think that the state of California is fairly ahead of a number of other states, and I think it's largely a testament to the work that all of you have been doing over the years and some of the work that your Department of Education and Public Instruction has been doing, uh, primarily under the leadership of Jack O'Connell. And so we're just very, very pleased to have him here. Superintendent O'Connell has to um, catch a plane, but I asked him if he would just say a few words to kind of help us frame uh, the discussion this afternoon. 